and you look absolutely horrified. I'm so sorry. Let's try that again with slightly more enthusiastic body language. It's 21 and a half thousand, everybody. Um, yay! <laughs> My point is, it's a big job, it's a marathon job, it, it, will, it will bleed you dry if you allow it to. How are we working? Where are we putting our energy? And what is it that's going to make the most difference? So I want to share with you a quote that changed my view of education. Um, it's a Guy Claxton, Professor Guy Claxton quote. He says this, you can never be a neutral teacher. So there's a big question, or rather a big statement, something rather provocative. Can you just bounce that around your table? What do you think a neutral teacher is? Would you identify yourself as one? Do you agree with that? Just bat it around for a couple of minutes if you'd be so kind. Thank you. Council education systems in the world. Does that surprise anybody? Do you ever feel any pressure, colleagues? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and that pressure is real. We have a hugely accountable system. And a byproduct of that is sometimes it makes teachers do the wrong things for what they think is the right reason. I'll give you an example. We have to get them through the test. There's always a test, there's an exam, there's something very, very important that we're aiming for. And the problem is in an accountability culture, in times of pressure and stress, we start doing just what we have to do. Get them through that test or die trying. Another worksheet, another practice paper, just keep going. Um, and the problem with that is we stop giving kids the side orders. So I'm just doing Macbeth. But am I doing Macbeth with a side order of teamwork, or wonder, joy, problem solving? What is it I'm choosing to give or to take away from those students? Does that make sense to you? So I'm going to be asking you to keep the idea of side orders in your mind for just a moment because kids are in school for a very long time. It's about 10,000 uh, hours, 10,500 hours, 2,100 days of your childhood. You never get it back again. They get one go at year four. It's that classroom with you. And it's that year 11 experience of English with you. And we are the people that are going to shape and create the feel of that learning. Um, and I think that's an awesome responsibility. So John Jones calls us the magic weaving profession. And I think we should own that. I think we should all have T-shirts because how many people can say that they go to work every day to change lives? One worksheet, one lesson, one resource, one break time, one dinner duty. At a time, you are changing lives. And as a parent... Speaking to the profession, a huge thank you on behalf of, of, of all of us for what you do, because it is remarkable. Um, but they're in there a long time, and it's great when it's great, and it's not when it's not. And what I wanted to write about in the, in the second book, uh, the Classrooms book, is how do we take children from being captives for 10,500 hours to being captivated by the business of learning? And I think that's the art of a great teacher. Do you like what I did there?